The biggest thing you have to watch out for when making a cross cut with a table saw is tear out, which occurs where the teeth exits the cut on the bottom and back edge of the workpiece. This is the biggest cause of poor cross cuts and learning how to avoid it will make your projects look a lot better. So here are five solutions. The quality of your blade can make a big difference. Remember, the more teeth on the blade, the less likely it is to leave tear out. While I use a good combination blade for most cuts, I switch to an 80 tooth ATB blade for delicate finishing cuts that must be absolutely crisp and free from tear out. Your equipment's also a factor. If there's a gap in the throat insert next to your blade, there'll be nothing to support the fibers on the bottom of the cut. Closing up that gap by making what's called a zero clearance insert will make a big difference. The same can be said about supporting the fibers on the back side of the workpiece, where the blade exits the cut. A clean kerf through an auxiliary fence will support those fibers as well. If you don't have time to make an auxiliary fence or a zero clearance insert, you can try strengthening the fibers by putting a piece of blue tape on the bottom and back edge of the workpiece, then cutting through that. The tape will strengthen the bond between all the individual fibers so they can resist splintering together. Finally, you could just be proactive. Use a knife to score along your cut line, severing the outer fibers before you make a cut so they can't bend and fray. We couldn't do what we do without folks like the Bushy family over at Clearview Cyclones. Not only do they make the best dust collection cyclones on the market, but they're woodworkers supporting woodworkers. They're the sponsor of this video and I really hope you'll thank them by visiting their website and using our discount code below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.